Well, it's September 13th. I went home for about 24 hours. And I'm back up here. I'm about maybe a mile to two miles south of that gulch that I was hunting. Trying something different going for deer. This area here is a little bit more known for having deer than elk. And uh, climbed up to this mountaintop here. Well, not quite to the top. I'm going to walk this ridge line up here. And found this, uh, I'm assuming there was a pretty serious fire right in this spot here. And it's interesting that it looked like the ground's all torn up. Like from heavy equipment or something. You can see how it's all pushed over there. I wonder how the heck they got something, to, something up here. Or is this all from firefighters putting out this one, one spot? Uh, I'm going to climb up top and see if I can show you the other fire that I think started yesterday when I was coming up over those mountains right there. I could totally see it. Got up here around like 8 o'clock at night. So I'm going to work my way just over this way to the actual ridge line and get to the top and try to get a vantage point and get out the binoculars and see if I see anything. The other day I came up over that ridge line there and last year I camped right there and would go up and over that hill down into that gulch I was hunting the other day. So it's kind of cool being in a different spot, looking at things from a different viewpoint. Now I know that there's a wall tent up this way, but I'm going to just keep going up here. I'm almost to the, the top of this and want to be able to look down in there and see this whole hillside. It's been logged and has deadfall so it's quite open and you can see right through the trees. Someone is target shooting at 8.15 in the morning during hunting season. Strange. But yeah, they're spaced still two to three seconds apart. They sound much more like a small caliber rifle or maybe even like a pistol. But coming from somewhere down in there. There's another one. Jeez. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't go down to that valley. There's another one. All right. So I'm really only like 200 yards off the trail and I'm walking a natural gas pipeline. And here we go. These are definitely this year See how wet the tree is? That's a good sign. There's some more back in there. Right over there. Oh, I see more up there. Of course, well, I haven't seen much of this year. So this is, oh, it's a good sign. I'm just gonna keep going in deeper real thick off this this pipeline Ready to keep on moving oh here's some more right up in there well I just blew a big one <laughs> I don't know what that means but I'm walking up this ATV only trail and I'm looking down right here and I'm like hey there's deer tracks on the trail and literally 20 yards away on the other side of that pine tree a nice sized doe snorts at me and goes bounding away oh yeah alright I've been jumping around hunting all over the place and I saw two doe last night one winded me and you know the story of the, the one I walked right up to. 
And I'm back over where I used to hunt last year. Checking out this wallow. And it, uh, it looks like it's actually been visited fairly recently. You can see it's the water still churned up a little bit. So some really, really fresh tracks right in there. Man. If he's coming to this wallow, that means he's got to have cows. Some kind of in the area. I'm going to go check this meadow out over here. Most likely he's gone completely nocturnal. Alrighty, heading in again. Um, this morning, what did I see this morning? Oh yeah, after I checked that wallow, I only got bored. Walked back out to the truck, got there around 9. And at 10 o'clock, saw a doe mule deer walk right up and over the power lines. It was about 400 yards from the truck. But I was sitting there drinking a coffee. And here comes a really good size doe mule deer crossing our path. The path that we took in. So bad luck on my part for coming out too soon not waiting for the wind to switch and sticking it out so my goal right now is to go get that camera that I put up about God it's almost two weeks now and it's gonna be about a, a mile walk in a mile walk out and this is the trail that two weeks before the season started, I saw a herd on the trail twice in one day. And one other strange thing is the way in here. It's a, it's a five mile, pretty serious four wheel drive trail. The guy I brought in with me says that he would never want to take a more serious four-wheel drive trail but he is <laughs> staying at the trailhead and taking a nap I told him you know when you do that that's the time that I'm gonna run into the elk so hopefully that works out for me but I'm gonna try to take this hill or take this trail up the hill to about the same, oops, same latitude as the camera. And then side hill back to my right. Because it's, it's kind of buried in there. The, uh, the camera. Let you know if I see anything. Alright, well the main hiking trail goes out in front of me. And I'm pretty sure this is where I made my entrance into the to the forest because I got this uh, game trail that comes right through here crosses and heads out into the into the woods there right, I'm going in this is also the exact spot where I saw that group of elk on my way out uh, two weeks before uh, the season opened well, I made it to the camera. It was on this tree. GPS took me just about right to it. The only problem is the stick that I had behind it to get it to angle down, well, it wasn't there. So somehow it popped out. But tonight, once we, we're all done hunting, we'll uh, review the footage if there is any. It's kind of a weird camera. You don't know. There's no like start, stop, on type button or selection it's like okay hope it's on all right now I'm gonna try to do like a crow fly I'm on a ridge I want to go straight down to the four-wheel drive trail it's 
0.64 miles as a crow flies. I know the camera doesn't do the justice of the angle of this hillside. I just bushwhacked down. I came to this clearing out here and found another wallow. Which, I mean, right now I'm a three tenths of a mile from my truck. And they're rutting right here on this hillside. Get an idea what that rub or that looks like. Kind of cool. Never knew this opening was here. But there's uh, game trails that lead from all over into here. on moving. It's time for me to go home. But I think if I can find it in this mess of my truck here, I'm going to drive. It's about 40 minutes to go six miles um, over to where my dad and I um, backpacked in and hunted and where the muzzleloader guy and I backed it, backpacked in and hunted. We've let that rest for a while, but who knows what's been happening over there. So I kind of want to just get my eyes on the trailhead and see how many people are there. Um, and it's Saturday, what did it is today? Saturday the 15th, September 15th. And I'm going to go in about a mile, if I'm feeling good, maybe a mile and a half, and find a spot for this trail camera. This is the only one that worked. So this camera here I got at Cabela's and it worked. Um, th those crappy ones I got on Amazon, um, I don't know, I sent them an email. There's only a 30 day return policy so that's, that's gone. Um, so I'm going to try to put this up somewhere and look for a spot where deer and bear would be working that oh first mile in um, go from there I th I'm coming back many more times uh, it's 15 days left of bear season and like I don't know 10 nine days left of elk and deer season I think that's the, that's right so we got to make the best of it and uh yeah i'll uh turn turn the camera back on once i get over to that uh that other drainage